everybody! It's your boy Liu Shang back with another juicy YouTube video here on the channel. Let me tell you something first and foremost. This gout pain right here is the real deal. The struggle has been real as much as it has been real with the COVID-19 situation all around the country. But I got good news for you guys. The two pieces of good news is that one, I have been healing properly, so I'm still feeling pain on my feet right now, but now I can limp. So this brings a second piece of news, right? I'm out here fishing around my local creek. Thankfully, it is still legal to fish here in the state of Pennsylvania. So I decided uh, to take a little hike here to my local mighty Nishimini Creek. 50 degrees Fahrenheit out here right now is going to hit 60. Water temperatures in the 50s. Ain't gonna lie to you people, um, it looks pretty dead <laughs> out here. I'm using polarized lenses, right? But this is my first time filming for a YouTube channel in more than 30 days. To be more exact, 34 days. So I am pretty excited to see how we're going to do today. I'm just going to fish for whatever bites. I got some lures with me. So let me get my setup ready, man. And let's wade and explore and hopefully catch some amazing fish. Stay tuned. With this whole COVID-19 situation going on all around the country, it has been a little bit of a challenge when it comes to just hitting regular places to buy live bait. So I got with me here my arsenal of lures for the day. As you guys can see, right, it is the same tackle box that I really brought down with me <laughs> to the state of Florida, that trip that I did last month. And I think I'm going to get started with just one of my regular all-time favorites, the Thomas EP series inline spinner nickel gold this one right here is a one six of an ounce and then if it doesn't work i'm going to switch to some aero tackle jigs and soft plastics for the day okay we got to be careful here now as to how we get in the water because my feet is still very very tender especially my left foot over here so got to be careful it has been over a month since I have cast an inline spinner or any lure, really. I'm looking forward <laughs> to see if this is going to produce. This is just unbelievable. First day filming for YouTube in over a month, 34 days. Beautiful day out here at the creek. Like I emphasized, been casting the spinner for about 25 minutes, not a single follow. I was able to actually wade all the way from over there to over here, the middle of the creek, and I still didn't see a single fish. Of course, it could be that the water temperature is too cold, but I mean, hands down, the spinner is definitely not working. I think it is time to switch and try a different approach. You know, fellas, I am truly, truly sick of not catching fish. So I am going to make a very, very bold move, okay? I started on the other side of the bridge, and then I waited to the middle piling, and then I waited to the left piling. Got terrified two, three times while waiting, because, you know, my left foot over here is still pretty tender from the gout. Didn't have a single fish follow, did not see a single fish yet, and I switched to a little um, tungsten soft lock jig with a little anisoptera from Aero Tackle, right? So I ain't getting skunked today, man. I'm hitting the pipe. Over here, there are always some fish hiding under this pipe. Yo, I'm going to catch at least one fish to not jinx myself today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, boy. See what I said? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Got to catch at least one for the day, just so that you don't jinx yourself. Just to show people, yeah. There's some fish here in the damn chimney creek, bro. <sighs> Got ourselves here a little green sunfish. 
Lepomis Cianellus, and he is, oh man, he is cold. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, fisherman and fisherwoman, I promise you all that I'm trying out here. I'm trying pretty darn hard. I've been casting out there all around, trying to catch whatever bites and nothing showed up. So sometimes you just have to go this low. You really have to hit the pipe just to make sure that there is a fish down here at the creek, right? Just kind of to boost your confidence, your confidence levels. So we got here a little Lepomis cyanellus, as I like to call it, the ninja fish, because they love to stay under a structure, right? Like that pipe over there. And sometimes you just jig your stuff. I was jigging the Anisoptera from Aerotech, just like right in front of the pipe like that, you know? And sometimes they just see that and pop, and they whack you like, and that's it. They ambush, which is why I call it the ninja fish. Anyways, let's release our first fish of today. First species of today. 34 days, no shooting YouTube video. This is, this is a good start, this is a good start. All right, open it big, my brother, because we're gonna do a nice release. Big mouth, these guys. Definitely have a very, very big mouth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the size of that mouth right there. All right, you're free, free, go, free. Yes, little fella is gonna go directly back to the pipe. The water is pretty cold. Uh, it is pretty, pretty cold. So I'm not surprised that I don't see fish swimming out there and jumping and everything. But hopefully we're going to find some nice quality fish for the rest of this video, yeah? Man, you have got to be kidding me. 34 days that I didn't fish out here. One thing that I definitely didn't miss was this fella. Look at that. Anywhere I go, doesn't matter where I am. COVID-19, no COVID-19. Yeah, look, it's, it's swimming down there like a balls. Like it owns the creek. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That's the thing about spots like this though. It is not like this little pipe area is so shallow. It's got a little nice hole, comes from a little brook over here. So sometimes you never know, right? Some micros may fall over here. So I'm gonna stay here for another few minutes just to see maybe there's a smally, a Microterus dolomiel or something hiding under these pipes, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What is that? What is that? What is that? Rock, rock bass? Rock bass? Uh, no, okay, it's a green sunfish. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a rock bass, the Umbloplitis rupestris. <laughs> but no, this is what actually I was aiming for, right? If you guys don't know, we have a species that is very common around the area called the rock bass, the Umbloplitis rupestris. And uh, you never know when one of those is hiding under a rock but it just turns out to be a little green sunfish so ah uh, yeah yeah you just never know when new species are going to oh bubbling huh this guy are going to be around the area went right back down the pipe i tell you what a pipe can only produce so much two little green fish under the pipe doesn't seem to have any rock bass around here at all so it is time to start moving upstream to see if we can actually find something decent out of this creek today. The cover is where the fish is at sometimes. Got a little cover here, the creek, man, you got to hit it. Oh, oh no, 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 there was, there was something that came out of the cover. There was something that came out of the cover to get my, my Anisoptera. I don't know what it was though. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, what the heck was that, bro? That's a bigger sunfish. That's a bigger, bigger sunfish. I knew there was something around this cover right here, man. It's a red breast. It's a red breast. First red breast of the day. Yo, days like this, a red breast, much, much better than nothing. 
Look at that beauty. Hey, yeah. Saw this little cover over here. And there's no fish out there in the current. So I thought, hey, maybe you cast the little arrow tackle jig. Look, look how deep, look how deep the anisoptera went. Holy cow. I wish I could give you all a nice release over here underwater shot. However, oh man, I have to take this out first. Man, that ends up that I was deep. However, the other camera is inside my book bag and I am carrying my book bag right now because I'm waiting. So you guys will have to settle for just the clear water, the clear shot release, which is really not that bad at all, right? Check that out. Ooh. Hey. It is a great feeling. It is a great feeling when you come out here and you know, you just cover a lot of water, right? Maybe there's no fish here, no fish there. I hit the deeper holes and there was no fish. And then I came to this part of the creek. And like I said, I saw there was like this little cover slash structure over here. And you just never know when a smolly or a rock bass or some species is really just laying low around areas like this, right? Which is why instead of covering the middle of the creek right now, I run my spinner and everything, there was nothing. I am covering pretty much the banks of the creek, right? I'm wading upstream. So that's good, second species of the day. And uh, the water is really, really cold right now. I think it is low 50s. I really, really wished that this piece of structure would actually produce more fish. I did miss one bite in front of all this junk earlier, and that fish did not come back for it. So, got a red breast here behind it. I think it is time to leave this alone and go explore. There's a nice fallen tree over there, so we're just gonna keep walking, waiting limping i don't even know what to call it upstream now oh yeah boy got a bite in the current wow that got me uh, <laughs> a little bit surprised i thought i was not going to get any fish out there but it's just a red breast sunfish not bad not bad maybe as the day warms up it is you know a few hours before noon Maybe as the day warms up, the fish are starting to get a little bit more, more active. Water temp is still so down. I was not expecting the fish to be so lethargic today. But again, I haven't been out for 30 something days. So, hmm. well, 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 hmm. The fishing has definitely been slower than I expected today. So far, I waited a good amount upstream just using the little Euro tackle and Anisoptera. Two green sunfish and two red breast sunfish. I mean, I understand that the water temperature is not prime right now, low 50s, but I didn't even get to see a single bass just swimming around here, you know, like a smallie, a largemouth bass, nothing. So I guess I'm going to do the round downstream now. I'm gonna go back to my initial location. And instead of using the jig, I'm going to tie on the EP series so I can cover more water. Cause you just never know, right? I work the bank upstream. I'm going to cast towards the middle of the creek now, especially where there are some deeper pockets to see if there's some fish out there just feeding and ready to ambush the spinner. Take it easy, Leo, take it easy. The, ooh, you see that? That's what I'm talking about. The thing that you got to be most careful about when wading creeks like this is the sinking mud. You can sink, but if you don't sink a lot, that's still okay. If you sink a lot, then you may just be in trouble. All right, I think we're fine, we're fine here. Hey, I tell you what, I'm fishing seven miles within my house. I am mitigating, that's right, geese. I am mitigating out here when it comes to COVID-19 and social distancing. Besides this fellas, doesn't really get any better, right? Because as you guys can see, check it out. When you wade, 
for real. I mean, there's nobody within miles of this creek. Well, that being said, it is time to zoom to work. Man, I just hope as Molly crushes this spinner in the next 35, 40 minutes or a largey or who knows, man, whatever surprise catch, I'll be happy with any of those things. Come on, fishy, fishy, give me a five pounder. Oh man, I would be stoked if I landed. Oh, damn. I was going to say I would be stoked if I landed a three or two pounder right now and then I got the rock. You see, when you get a snag with your inline spinner, the thing that you do not want to do is that zoom, 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 zoom motion, right? Because when you do that, especially if you hook the piece of wood, then your treble hook is really going to get in that wood or whatever it is that you hook down there and you are not going to get back. So sometimes when you do some twists like this, it kind of comes off. If it doesn't, well, either you pull your line, right? You pull your line and you lose it. Or in this case, since I am waiting, I am just going to walk to the snag. And yeah, check it out. Holy cow. On the rock, my man. Big rock. And uh, dude, this is not a rock. Holy cow. I will need my scissors for this right here. It's a piece of clothing or something. What the heck is in the chimney? Yo, this is like a blanket, bro. Yo, this is legit a blanket, my man. Ay, 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 dude. Who comes to the creek and throws things like that in the creek? You guys can't see it too well, but there is a blanket. A blanket, my brother. Not even a rock. There, there is a blanket down the creek here. How, How is this... <sighs> I'm not even gonna say anything. I just, I just gonna keep fishing and be grateful that I didn't lose my 350, my 315 line spinner. Ah, ragazzo, the feeling of being out here, outdoors, is mamma mia, molto buono. But the fishing session itself, I got to tell you, damas y caballeros, está muy malo, okay? Reempujao, tej jala, rapaz. Nunca esperava que a água estivesse tão fria assim, sabe? So, I guess all I can say is, o prostite, right? Maybe we're going to do better next time. That being said, on the other hand, 34 days without shooting a YouTube video. First time I'm out here filming. And at least I didn't get skunked. <laughs> Ended up landing two different species of fish, right? Green sunfish, red breast. So I'm always looking at the positives. I could have, you know, been fishing here today and not caught any not catch anything at all, right? So that's the positive thing about today's fishing session. That being said, I kind of found out also via today's sesh that the foot is still not 100% healed when it comes to the gout, arthritis, especially my left ankle. There were a few moments when I was waiting like hip high and you know, I was a little bit terrified that I was going to lose balance and just get wet because the left ankle is still not, not very well. So. I don't think I am going to be waiting for a while, at least not for a few more days until the thing heals like 100%. But, however, do expect new videos on the YouTube channel because I am going to be fishing around the area and soon, soon, the trout shall know the wrath of the Asian folk. That's right, Goose, the Asian shall know the wrath of the Asian folk. And so will the sunfish, the panfish, and everything else around in the perch. Because I plan on eating some fish soon, right? They shall suffer the wrath of the Asian grill. Ah, oh, look at that. Alright, that's my hint to get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys next time.